know what you think, but docking a sport fishing boat, not easy. I mean, not easy for me, Professor. No, I mean, it's tough. It's a tough thing to learn. Yeah, it is tough. In fact, I've done it one time. Yep. You've seen the video on that. I did it one, I mean, literally, I backed this into a slip one time. We've got a 40-foot Black Wolf Express here, about 15 wide. And you see, down in Pirates Cove, North Carolina, where we normally keep our boat, we're getting ready to head there just in a couple days, we got like four or five inches on each, each side. And not a lot of room in between the other dock either. Not a lot of room, and everybody in Nagshead seems to be watching you on a Friday afternoon <laughs> to pull in, you know? Well, that's for sure. <laughs> and I have got to get better. So, we got a plan today, don't we, Professor? We do. We're going to make some reps. We're going reps. to make some reps. Reps, baby. Yep. In fact, we're going to see how many times I can take this boat out and bring it back in the slip. I'd like to do at least eight, nine times and just start to get the reps. We're going to have you watching from the drone. You can judge me and say, man, you really are that bad because I probably will be. Nonetheless, I'm doing it because I'm ready to learn this and I'm ready to get over my fear of docking this big boat, Professor. Right, we can do it. All right, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. All right, so first thing to look at, you want to make sure that your rudder is at zero. Right there. That's right, the old one. one. Yep, that's pretty close. Can it get any better? Yeah, but you turn the steering wheel. You don't turn that. See, or two, you got to go back the other way. Keep on going. All right, here we go. All right, now, so we're laid up against that pole right there, and if you were to bolt this one in gear, that's gonna make this side rough. So I need to go in reverse on the right, on the starboard side first, and then? Well, you gotta be careful because you got this finger up here. What I would do is bolt that one in forward and let it rub that pole. Uh-huh. But you, it'll push you around. So get bumping in forward real easy, then take it right back out. See how it's pushing you around? Uh-huh. And the stern's not coming around hitting that finger up here. Oh, that's kind of smart. Now, yeah. look. Well, I don't know. I think I'm ready for both. Easy. Yep. Bump them in and then come right back out. Because she, she moves. You can do it again. All right. All right, now. Let's do this, baby. That one in reverse. Now this one in forward. Here we go. Game time. Practice today. Take that one out of them. There we go. All right, we're going to see how many times I can do this the right way, Professor. Oh, I was, uh. See, that's where they're touchy. A lot of times you Why think you Why is it you're... going right here? Because uh, you, you keep on bumping this one in forward. See, I think very... it's, it's the neutral that I'm. Yeah. I'm yeah. not recognizing neutral right. like I should be. So now bump that one in reverse. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the spin going. Yeah. But see, you don't always need to, to do both. Right. So now right forward, just a bump to keep her from spinning so much. Now right back into gear. See, it's all about the bump when you're close and stuff like this. All right, first time going in. Let's go. Let's see if we can hit this, Professor. Oh, I hope you can, buddy. I got faith in you. I hope I can, too. Just don't want to embarrass myself. It's all right. Everybody got to learn. I embarrassed myself the first time. All right. So reverse on the right. Yeah. Just a bump. About, about time. Yeah, but you, you kind of, you already needed to start your turn. All right. Now you're so going to touch on right. the side. No, the right, just the ball, because you're already too far this way. All right. Yeah. One more. I'm I'm missing the. Uh, yeah. Neutral. The neutral is what's going on here. We need to regroup. Yeah. Steady, slow bumps. See, that, that time you didn't start your turn fast enough. You got too far yeah. to the slip. All right. I'm going to go out here. 
I'm gonna turn around. We're gonna try this again. Oh for one, Professor. Oh for one. You'll get it this time though. Doc Lessons 101 with the Professor and the Dum Dum. All to Would neutral. you bring it both to neutral now? Yeah. yeah. You bring it both to neutral. Yeah. And now you're gonna go both in gear or just no, one just, just one. to stop the turn? That one on the right. Now you can go both in gear. All right, I come out. There you go. All right, now you will start turning. Already? Yeah. Really? You already got this momentum, yeah? Yeah, you already waited too late. All right. Neutral on this one? Neutral on the other one for right now until you can turn around. See how she's still okay. moving this way? Yeah, she really is. Yeah. So a bump on the right side now? I mean, on the yeah. port side now? There you go, Marcus. So remember, you don't always have to use both of them. Sometimes it's just better yeah. to use one. Them little bumps. See, that's getting a little close over there. There you go. Get a little close over here now because you bump that pole, hit this one in reverse again. It'll bring the stern this way. And to stop it, definitely both forward. Yeah. Just a bump. There you go. It's, it's a little bit go, long on yeah. that. It's a little bit long. Yeah, because that brings you away. Okay. All right, let's try, try again. again. All right, so for we're one for two. Yeah, you did good that time. A little bit better. Yep. First one was a disaster. That's all right. First one, if I had been in Pirate's Cove, I would have embarrassed myself, my family, my posterity, the speechless brand. <laughs> it all would have been embarrassing. It's nothing I haven't done before. Missed the slip. Got her. We made it. Remember, just a little bump to stop her. All right, let's go again. All right, so we're two for three. Not beautiful, but I feel like we're getting a little bit better. All right, now put the right one in reverse and don't move to left. All right, so let's do one professor while I come back and complete reverse. All right. Now reverse out of here too, but that could okay. be a, that could be a situation where you All right. might need to do that.
was good, Mark. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, good, good, good. Nice work, Marcus. Nice work. Well, Professor, I think we got like eight or nine reps in there. We said we wanted to get reps. Yeah, we did it. We did some reps. I totally failed on the first one. It was a disaster. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was bad. And there were just moments like, to be honest, there was moments when I just wanted to panic because I thought we were going to either just swing too close to shore or I was going to hit something. I'm just finding that you really got to stay calm when you're docking a boat. That's number one mistake that people make is panicking and adding throttle. Right, you overcompensate. Yeah, adding throttle like, oh, I start freaking out and they put it in gear and then add speed. It's the worst thing you can do. And then all of a sudden, that's when you become that's a when, YouTube fan. You see the qualified <laughs> captain videos where boats are going over top of other boats and all that stuff. The mistake that I kept making though was I wasn't taking into account the momentum of the boat and I kept flying by. Yeah. And I need to start my turn sooner. Yeah, that and you need to learn to counteract the momentum of the boat. Right. That's uh that's the main thing that I've taken from what you did today. Yeah, yeah, like no like because boats boats don't have brakes. Right. They have counteracting measures. Yep. That's what what they have. And boats not like a car, it doesn't go in a straight line and which way the wheel is turned. Boats slide. Yeah. And it all depends on the conditions, the tide, wind, and your momentum. Yeah. And you know, if you've got momentum coming, even though you turn and you get side two and you still got that sideways momentum, you know, you're gonna learn to counteract that. You know, these guys down there in the Outer Banks, they, they've done this thousands of times, you know, and, and now I've officially done it about 10 times in my life. And, and hopefully, hopefully, you'll be coming out there this summer, y'all, because we're gonna be at slip number 92 the professor here is going to be there full time, so make sure you book your trip now with us because I won't be driving. Don't worry, it's going to be this guy with his cat, Captain Ronald Edwards, as it says on the card. But you know, we produce videos like this so you can see that we're in the process of learning. I think a lot of people are afraid to dock. And so come out and see us in North Carolina. It's going to be an amazing, amazing summer. And I'd love to meet you. Professor would love to meet you. Let's even make a video together. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this. And until the next time, everyone, stay salty.